It was common knowledge not to stay out late in Puerto La Vega. Stories of brujas tend to circulate among the older folks in town. Nothing but old wives' tales, I'd tell myself. A couple of friends and I had planned to get together outside of my mom's house. We wasted away the sunlight talking about girls, cars, and whatever else floods the mind of a hormonal teenage boy. Alfonso, come inside. It's getting dark out. My mom said through the screen door. Mamá, ahorita me meto. I responded. Métete ya. Ya sabes que pasa en las noches. She yelled. I shrugged her off and continued my conversation with my friends. We talked and laughed when a sudden thickness could be felt in the air. My friends' expressions changed. They no longer looked at me, but through me. Nervously, I asked, ¿Qué pasó? Receiving no response, I slowly looked over my shoulder. There she stood, tattered black rags draped from her small frame. The light of the full moon revealed ash-colored skin and a veil that hid what I could only imagine was a grotesque face. My body ran cold. Adrenaline filled my veins. After years of being in track, running had become second nature. Before I knew it, I was off. My speed only increased as I flew past light post after light post. There's no way she'll catch up to me, I thought to myself. I glanced over my shoulder, and I could faintly see her silhouette fading in the distance. My friends were already waiting for me outside my mother's house. Who the hell was that? They asked. La Bruja, we? I replied. We burst into laughter, and the night continued. Hours had passed as we sat in a circle drinking and laughing. The heavy feeling cut out our laughter suddenly. I knew what was in store for me. I bolted. I ran the same distance, and I glanced over my shoulder to check for her. She was exactly where I expected, her silhouette fading away in the distance. I continued my pace, but as I rounded the final corner for home, I could feel the heavy feeling again. There she was behind me, only a foot or two away. I pushed my legs to their limits, running as fast as I could. I looked back, my eyes widened. She was gaining on me. I could almost feel her tugging at my shirt. She wasn't running. She was gliding, almost flying. Her snickering rattled in my ears like some sort of demonic cackle. I felt the cold tips of her mangled fingernails as they broke the skin along my back. I knew I couldn't run forever. I could see my backyard's fence. If I could just make it home, I thought to myself, panicked out of my mind. I flew over the fence and landed chest first in my backyard. The commotion awoke my dad, who came out of the back door. ¿Qué pasó? He asked. Fighting to catch my breath, I could only mutter. La, la, la bruja.